Inspiration to be an artist started when I was really young because both my parents are artists. They're um, they're in their 80s now and they work in their studios every day. So I grew up kind of steeped in art. When I went to college, that's when I I sort of took it upon myself, even though I had art classes, took it upon myself to go in the library and just sort of delve deep into. Um, into art and artists, and I found the um, abstract expressionists, and that's when I was like, this is what I want to do. why encaustic um, became, I, I actually was an encaustic painter for 12 years, completely. Started in oil, like in college, discovered encaustic, took that workshop, and then I stayed encaustic for about 12 years. And um, one of the things that, um, that I still do, that I, that I discovered that encaustic is great with, is collage. And that is something that, as being a layer and an excavator of, of work, collage and wax um, are completely um, simpatico. Yeah, just one of the other tools that, um, that I, I love is a squeegee. It sort of serves the same purpose as the pan, because what I do is I just, this again, this was layered and layered and layered. Of, this is an oil paint on canvas. And then I unified it all with a blue glaze. And then this is my love of line. I just sort of put, I take that pan and I put um, a line of oil down and then I just take a squeegee and just sort of stretch it. And that just creates this line. And then when that dried, I put orange over the whole thing and then just squeegeed out again and just leave just those little hints of orange. So again, it's just a tool that um, you know, it takes, it, it, it's, it's like control, no control, which I love. And, uh, and this one, this one is similar to that one, which I, I feel is successful because of the contrast again, the contrast between warm and cool and the sort of dark, uh, and this one is called um, a lake effect. And this is what happens when at night with the, the light on the lake. <laughs> in line in landscape versus a more traditional approach to landscape, it's that um, I have, um, I have an attraction to looking at things um, sort of close up versus the vista. 
And so when I'm looking up close, I see the branches and I see the, I see the lines in the plants. And that to me, that's, that's my interest. And, and to me, na nature is full of um, this sort of natural calligraphy. And there's usually something that'll strike me in one of the paintings or a couple of them that I want to push and explore farther. And some of the works in this show are a little bit more minimal than others. And that is something that um, has always interested me, is like how simple can you get in a work, yet still have it be personal and still have it be strong, not have it be vacant. So I want to take line and I want to take the desire for simplicity and I want to see where I, I can push that.